Israel headlines in 60 seconds. On Friday, June 16 in Jerusalem, a deadly terror attack claimed the life of a female 23-year-old border control police officer. Three Palestinian terrorists were neutralized, all of whom were operatives of the Hamas terrorist group. The Israeli government consequently cancelled more than 200,000 visiting permits for Palestinians during Ramadan. Saudi Arabia and Israel, who are at odds with Iran, are in negotiation to allow Israeli businesses to operate in the Arabian Gulf and to permit Israel's El Al airline to fly over Saudi airspace. Saudi further announced the 31-year-old Mohammed bin Salman as the new crown prince. The Gaza electricity crisis is growing. Per Palestinian President Abbas's request, the Israeli security cabinet decided to reduce 40% of Israel's power supply to Gaza, resulting in only two and a half hours of electricity a day. This critically impacts hospitals and humanitarian works in the region, generating widespread criticism against Israel. On Thursday, Egypt sent one million liters of fuel to ease Gaza's electricity crisis. This was Israel Headlines in 60 Seconds.